The Chevrolet Cruze hatchback has finally come to America. While the first generation Cruze offered both hatchback and wagon variants, they only went to those lucky ducks overseas. Although American drivers have historically been more interested in sedans, the US car market is changing, with roughly 350,000 hatches being registered each year now. In offering the new Cruze hatchback here, Chevrolet hopes to take a chunk of that market. Judging just from the exterior, the Cruze hatch has a good chance of snagging some sales. The already handsome front end, finally gets the tail it deserved, solving the stylistic problem with a Cruze sedan. Its trunk section looks a bit awkward and narrow, compared to its low, wide nose. The hatch is wider, wraparound taillights and bumper-mounted license plate go a long way toward fixing that. The car also looks a bit more squat and athletic with its 7.4-inch shorter rear overhang. Despite the shorter overall length, the hatch retains the sedan's 106.3-inch wheelbase and its passenger interior dimensions. The dashboard and other interior components are all put together nicely, with tight gaps and good fit. Every hatch comes with upholstered panels on the doors, in either cloth or leather, which is a nice departure from the stitched or faux-stitched plastic panels that are so popular nowadays. All cruises also come with a touchscreen infotainment unit, with either a 7.0-inch or 8.0-inch display. If we were choosing a cruise model, the hatchback would be the obvious pick. No, the five-door isn't some exciting hot hatch. But it's just as pleasant to be in and drive as the sedan, with better looks and a more useful cargo area. So it fulfills the hatch promise, without breaking new ground.